What happens when technology, politics, and military defense intersect in a world of cloud computing? The answer lies in the tale of the Jedi Contract, a saga of competition, controversy, and a $10 billion prize. The Joint Enterprise Defense Infrastructure, or JEDI, was a colossal United States Department of Defense cloud computing contract, valued at a staggering $10 billion over a decade. The goal? To implement a commercial off-the-shelf technology, providing economies of scale to the Department of Defense. The JEDI contract piqued the interest of tech giants such as Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Oracle. Yet, the road to acquiring the contract was far from smooth. Google, facing protests from its employees, decided to drop out, citing a conflict with its corporate values. The battle seemed to favor Amazon, until Oracle, co-chaired by Safra Katz, contested the contract, citing the National Defense Authorization Act over IDIQ contracts and conflicts of interest involving Depp Ubi, a former Amazon employee who had also worked in the Department of Defense. This led to the contract being placed on hold by Eric G. Brugink, a senior judge of the United States Court of Federal Claims. Just when the dust seemed to settle, in August 2019, President Donald Trump ordered the contract to be put on hold yet again, citing allegations of favoritism towards Amazon. In a surprising turn of events, the contract was awarded to Microsoft in October of the same year. Media pointed out Trump's known dislike of Amazon's founder Jeff Bezos, who also owns The Washington Post, a newspaper critical of Trump. Amazon, however, did not take this lying down. They challenged the award in November 2019, with a legal strategy that included calling Trump to testify. A federal judge, Patricia Campbell Smith, halted Microsoft's work on the project in February 2020, stating that Amazon's claims were reasonable and likely to succeed. This forced the Department of Defense to reopen bidding for the contract. Despite these hurdles, in September 2020, the Department of Defense reaffirmed Microsoft as the winner of the Jedi Cloud contract. Yet, as of May 2021, work had not yet begun, with Microsoft marking time before implementation. So what have we learned from the saga of the Jedi contract? It's a story that showcases the intersection of technology, politics, and defense. It's a tale of the fierce competition between tech giants, the controversial decisions made, and the $10 billion prize at the center of it all. This saga has left an indelible mark on the tech industry and continues to shape the future of cloud computing within the Department of Defense.